Were you an R. Kelly fan at that point? Yes, I was. Okay. I was more into Tupac at that time. Okay. You know, Tupac had just died. Tupac had just died, so I was dealing with that. So you're on this video set for Home Alone, and that's when you and R. Kelly kind of start interacting. scenes and one of his cousins came up to me at the time I didn't know it was his cousin he came up to me and said Rob wants to meet you I'm like oh, okay you know I didn't think anything of it at the time because I, I know I'm 17 years old to her adopting me and um, she was really really nice and she because she wanted children of her own but she couldn't have kids okay so now you're in a better space with, with this woman yes um, but you ended up moving out at 16 yes okay and you know why, why was that you're in a good home you're safe you know it's, you don't have your you know biological parents but you have someone that's actually taking care of you why why leave at that early age it really was just me being a teenager and her and I going through our own little battles and things like that. Oh, okay, yeah, you're just with a relative. I was with a relative, but I was very much on my own because she provided shelter. But if she was not home, you couldn't get in the house. And uh, she wasn't buying me any clothing, no uh, feminine products, none of that stuff. So anything you needed, you'd have to get for yourself if you couldn't get in the house. And back then, back in 96, there weren't cell phones. So if I didn't get in and I'm in Minneapolis and it's 20 degrees out outside, I'd catch a bus to someone's house or find somewhere to go, you know, so. Okay, so you're, you're almost like semi-homeless in a, in exactly. a way. Exactly, yes. Okay, so, so now you're back in a bad situation again. Right. Why not move back home to Atlanta where, you know, you have a loving mother? I didn't want to tell her that I was wrong. I didn't want to tell her that I was wrong. Where when she would get through and she'd be upset and saying she couldn't contact me and things like that. So it very well could have been times where she was calling. Hey, you said that you've seen Lisa Van Allen around a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, you said that she was doing crazy stuff. She was doing her, you know, she's doing her thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, to the point where, <laughs> where I mean, dude is. <laughs> it's too late. Dude is very like, you know, we sitting in the studio, you know, and they got the console thing in the middle, the couches on the back, big board in front, and all of a sudden she would just walk in with like just some panties on and and stand in front of the board and just stand there. Okay. So that's the light version of it. Okay. For, for all of us in there to pretty much view, it was that type of thing. Okay. But you know, for some people, they need candles and stuff like that to set a mood. So this is just common practice. It's standard, come on, you know. That. It became normal, That that's kind of normal. Okay. For the lifestyle, you know, that I <laughs> See was See the look in. on his face? It was normal. <laughs> When people like me, who were actually there, are reaching out, and then I find out how difficult it is to actually even get heard, it makes me go, well, 
so did you sell your soul to the devil or because I know you're trying to get a paycheck paycheck and I know you're angry we get that but every story you're saying I was there and from an outsider's perspective I don't quite see it that way and that's like Lisa Van Allen Lisa Van Allen was always with Robert with another girl Beverly they were a duo <laughs> it was Beverly yeah. It was yeah, it was Beverly. I don't know her last name, but Lisa Van Allen and Beverly were a package deal. A package deal. For a package deal. Oh. And yeah. so you saw that with your eyes. You can attest to that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean Lisa and Beverly were always with Robert. Always together. And they were in a lounge together. And they were they they were a package deal. So with Lisa coming out the way that she is, I'm like, well, why haven't you brought up your friend? You know, and Lisa wrote a book. So you had people like Lisa Van Allen. Lisa Van Allen was basically thrown out of court when she testified, here it is trial. It was incredible testimony. And everything in that documentary was a rehash of things they've known for years. The police have investigated, the prosecutors investigated, the jury heard, and everybody rejected it.